I came to Ghana with one goal, to deliver an award, and my life changed forever. This is TPG TV. If there's one thing we need more of in this world, it's peace. And any change in the world happens with our youth. And who better to teach youth about peace than Nobel Peace Prize winners themselves? Like Lema Bowie, who was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 2011 for her nonviolent activism that helped end the civil war in Liberia, standing up to notorious warlords like Charles Taylor and his use of child soldiers to terrorize an entire nation. It's people like Lema who bring Peace Jam into focus. Peace Jam is an international organization that uses the teaching of 13 Nobel Peace Prize winners like the Dalai Lama and Desmond Tutu to inspire and educate youth across the world. I got involved a few years ago when I met co-founders Don Engel and Ivan Suvanjev. These can be change makers for these young people because instead of their energy going in a negative direction, it can be channeled and they can be positive actors for, for, for change. They can be empowered agents of good. Peace Jam provides a curriculum to educators around the world with a singular goal, to bring more peace into the world. I love Peace Jam. I don't just like it. It's, it's another group on its own. It entertains us. It gives us education, yes. And it makes us know more about what is going on in our country and how things are supposed to be done in our society. In its 20-year existence, Peace Jam has been nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize eight times, and most recently this year for the Billion Acts of Peace campaign, an initiative to get people to log acts of peace online. Of the four million submitted last year, the act that won Peace Jam's youth award was the Ghana Health Campaign, where a group of kids outside Accra helped clean the streets and hold community workshops to educate on sanitation. Since sanitation is such a critical issue in Ghana, this one act of peace resulted in significantly reducing the number of cholera cases in the country's largest outbreak since 1982. There's a movement stirring positive change here, and it wasn't until I met the man leading the charge, Wisdom Otto, that I understood why. You have to educate them, you need to empower them, you need to give them the skills, then they will transform their lives and the lives of others. With very little resources, wisdom has instilled hope in Ghana's youth. The day I arrived in Accra, I went with him to visit an average school in Ghana, where he's been recruiting young volunteers to join Peace Jam, and with the idea of making their city better through Peace Jam. The kids embodied all the energy and excitement in the world. The following day, wisdom had organized the first ever Peace Slam event in Ghana, a one-day conference of 200 youth and educators. And since travel is often such a great expense for charities, I used my miles to fly two Peace Jam employees to Accra, which saved them thousands of dollars that they put to good use on the ground. And as soon as I walked in the door, the kids had me smiling ear to ear. We started off with shared games and dances. And oh, do they love singing in the rain. That activity got them ready for family groups with Peace Jam educators, the hardworking heavy lifters of Peace Jam who have dedicated their lives to disseminating the Nobel laureate's messages of peace and tools of nonviolent action to the next generation of Ghana's youth. Peace Jam is giving these kids a safe space to learn in a way that is very foreign in Ghana. To learn by taking actions, by critical thinking, by doing activities that are hands-on. I feel like before, they could tell you stuff that was wrong, but they didn't feel that hey, we as a group can make our own lives better. Now they're starting to do that. We then broke into various groups to do projects surrounding sanitation since the issue is so prevalent in Accra. We just throw rubbish anyhow we want. We just dump things anywhere we want. Why should this happen? And with that, clean the streets. <laughs> and rallied for better sanitation. Then, I learned how Peace Jammers celebrate, starting with the rap. And then I was asked to share my story with the group and handed out the Billion Acts of Peace Award. I that a group of teens in Ghana took it upon themselves to help stop the cholera outbreak and to educate the community is noted globally. And I want to just make sure everyone stand up and give them a round of applause. 
I knew I needed to do something great for these kids, the most selfless, inspiring people I've ever met. So, I made an announcement to return in 2016 with the full two-day Peace Jam event with Nobel Laureate Lema Bowie, and the response was astounding. And just when I thought I couldn't love these kids anymore, they prepared a familiar tune to thank me. On the next TPG TV, I learn how highly the afterlife is valued here at Nakra. And guess what? Could you do like a 747 plane? They yeah. even have something in store for a guy six foot seven. Bye guys. That's nice actually.